Borsio, topvelocity.net, and do a pitch analysis here. Aiden, we're going to pair him up with Stephen Lacey on the left. Let's take them both out of leg lift. All right, let's take them right where that lift leg comes down at a leg lift. We can see, it won't go even farther here. We can see at this point right here with Aiden, he's quick to put the lift leg down and open up, not carry much momentum before he brings the lift leg down. You can see Stephen, a lot more momentum. Lift leg still closed. So what is going on is Stephen has counter rotation in the hip and Aiden does, and Aiden's a little slightly open. So that's why he's holding torsion here, and Aiden's starting to collapse. Okay, so this is a more closed-off position. This is a better position to be in to generate a lot of momentum because you don't want to be try trying to create momentum as you're opening, as we see your front foot wanting to do pretty quickly here. Because if we create a lot of momentum opening, we're just going to fly open. And you can see right before you land, you were opening so early that your back leg is wanting to turn down and rotate before drive. And we don't want to see rotation before drive. We want to see them coming together. So you can see when Steven opens, this is when he starts to drive. And it's that combination of rotation and extension is which really maximizes force production. So because Aiden was quick to put down and open up, he before he was in a linear position, and that's why we've got to get forward and down at the same rate, because he... He wasn't in that linear position with that shin. He really wasn't in a position to drive. So what happens is he just opens up and collapses. And that's just more of a rotating back leg. You can see the heel popping up here. You don't see this with Steven. You see he's getting so linear. He's, his, shin staying, his shin's driving down into as he opens and rotates. Uh, so you see a lot of power. You're seeing a good long stride. You're seeing a shorter stride here. You're seeing... Um, you know, similar on the on closed shoulders, Stephen is even more counter rotated here, uh, and and because of that, you're gonna see more hip to shoulder separation. So you're gonna see a more counter rotated trunk. You're gonna see a more open hip position, and you're gonna see more optimal hip to shoulder separation between Stephen, uh, better from Stephen than Aiden here. So what this does is this translates a lot more dynamic energy through the trunk. You're not gonna see as much here, and a good indication you're not seeing dynamic energy or a lot of energy coming through the trunk is the elbow will push in front of the face. You can see Steven's elbow is really kind of pulling back, which is, is you don't want it pulling back too much because it could be out of sync, but it's pulling back and laying back, which means there's a big load moving on the arm because there's so much momentum coming back or com going forward in the trunk. You're not seeing that here with Aiden because it's more just rotational because there wasn't a lot of linear power here. There's more rotational energy, so you're just seeing more ro of that energy moving through the trunk. And then release... Even though Aiden starts to get the front leg extended, which is good, uh, you can see uh, Steven doesn't just stabilize as well, but he has such a good back leg drive, he just has to catch that energy. Aiden's trying to add to it here, which is good. But you can see when when Lacey gets to release here in, in, in next frame, you see quick internal rotation. You're seeing, you're seeing internal rotation way farther out here and down, right? So what is basically what happened right here, the elbow continued in external rotation too long. If we go back one frame with Steven here, he's in extension at that point. Aiden's still in external rotation. You know, this is a lot more energy coming up. It's like a wave. We get more energy hitting the front leg, crashing, just like the wave crashing in the shore. We get a quicker release of that energy up and through. And all these rotators like the trunk and the arm get move quicker into rotation. So all this is a product of Steven being more dynamic, building more momentum out of leg lift, more extension into rotation, building a more powerful drive to optimize hip to shoulder separation. We're just seeing the collapsing leg. We're seeing not much momentum, not much stride. And then that's we see the result of that as we watch the dynamics of the trunk and arm go move to release.